The Chandrayaan-2 mission lifted off from the Sriharikota launch range, at its appointed time of 2.43 p.m. The mission would see the lander and rover modules, of the spacecraft make a soft landing on the moon's surface 48 days from now, on September 7. India's quest to land its first spacecraft on the moon got off to a smooth, start on Monday afternoon, with the successful launch of Chandrayaan-2 mission, aboard the country's most powerful rocket. The Chandrayaan-2 mission lifted off from the Sriharikota launch range, at its appointed time of 02.43 p.m. The mission would see the lander and rover modules of the spacecraft, make a soft landing on the moon's surface 48 days from now, on September 7. Both of them will be alive there for 14 days, during which they will carry out various experiments, and collect data. The mission also has an orbiter module that will go around the moon, for the next one year in an orbit 100 kilometers, from the moon's surface. During this time, the various instruments on board the orbiter will study the moon's surface, its atmosphere, prepare three-dimensional maps, and also search for further evidences of water. The mission would see the lander and rover modules of the spacecraft, make a soft landing on the moon's surface 48 days from now, on September 7. After an aborted attempt last week, when scientists had to call off the launch of the mission less than an hour, before the liftoff due to a technical glitch, there was some anxiety at the mission control, especially since the launch window was barely a couple of minutes long. But today's launch went ahead without any trouble, as the massive 640-ton GSLV MK3 rocket, carried the 3,850-kilogram Chandrayaan-2 composite module into space. Less than 17 minutes later, Chandrayaan-2 was on its own, having been deposited in an Earth orbit by the rocket, which after burning its successive stages, had separated itself completely from the spacecraft. Chandrayaan-2 will spend the next 23 days circling around the Earth, incrementally raising its orbit, before it would embark on a seven-day journey to enter an orbit around the Moon. The jubilation in the mission control was held back till the final separation. At that time, 16 minutes 23 seconds after the launch, scientists in the mission control clapped a bit and then got up to shake hands, and congratulate each other. Chandrayaan-2 is attempting to become the world's first spacecraft, to land near the south pole of the moon.